All right, this is a re-upload of the video that I did earlier today where the sound is junk. Uh, this has to do with why narcissists try to invalidate our intuition as INFJs and ENFJs. Basically, what narcissists want to do with us is to get us not to trust our intuition, to get us to a point where we think our intuition is never correct and therefore will just fall in line with whatever you know manipulations that they're trying to subject us to at the moment. And that's something we cannot allow. I mean, keep in mind, you know, as INFJs especially and ENFJs to a slightly lesser degree, our intuition is our most valuable tool. You know, if you read articles or read any of Carl Jung, it states how your intuition is normally right about 85% of the time, and you have to learn how to trust it. That inner voice that tells you something doesn't feel quite right is screaming at you for a reason. It's telling you that someone is trying to manipulate you. Someone's trying to get you to do something you're uncomfortable with to get you to do something you really don't want to do. And that right there is the game with the narcissist. They only care about themselves, their own adoration, uh, their own, you know, keeping up with the Joneses, everybody adoring them, fawning over them, thinking they're somebody great, thinking they're somebody that they're really not. And whomever they have to manipulate, exploit, or take advantage of in order to, you know, continue to project that image, they're going to do it. Anybody other than themselves isn't important. You're just pawns, just pawns and tools for them to manipulate and use as they please for their end goal. Your wants, your needs, your values, your morality doesn't matter. All that matters is what the narcissist wants. And that's why they view people, especially their children, as extensions of themselves who exist only to serve them. You have to understand, you know, that your intuition is is your most powerful tool, that that intuitive feeling that something is not right is important. And notice the pattern too. You know, if you're an intuitive like us, INFJs and ENFJs, you understand that your intuition subconsciously forms patterns in your mind. And usually your intuitive hunches, you know, turn out to be true. You have to learn how to trust that. And I know it's harder, especially when you're younger and if you're, you were subjected to narcissistic abuse, you're taught that you can't do anything right, that what you think, feel doesn't matter. You're just always wrong. You're not allowed to be right. And the narcissist is by definition right, you know, by virtue of their I just know powers. You know, they, they see themselves as so grandiose, so intellectual, so great that whatever thought pops into their head, even without any background knowledge, research, etc., that they just think whatever they think of a subject is automatically right because they're the ones thinking it. And that's just how a narcissistic mind works. Sadly, pointing this out to them usually doesn't have much effect. I mean, you know, your intuition can be right nine out of ten times on something, you know, that all relates to each other. And on the 10th time, when you try to point that out to the narcissist or to the golden child, they're going to invalidate you and tell you that you're wrong because in essence, you're not allowed to be right. You know, they'll continue to tell you you're wrong, you're crazy, whatever, and validate everything that you're saying. You can point out, you know, the similar patterns, how things of that subject nature or things that relate to it have worked out that way exactly before in the past. And they're not going to care. They're just going to invalidate everything you have to say and try to berate you into their way of thinking. And you can't let that happen. You have to trust your intuition. You have to listen to that voice in your head. If something doesn't feel quite right, chances are 85% of the time, it's not right. And you have to learn how to listen to that and trust yourself. Again, that's difficult for us INFJs and ENFJs, especially, you know, when we're you know, in our younger years, like late teens, early 20s, because we're not known to have, you know, the most self-confidence or to be the sure, you know, that sure of ourselves. But trust me, when you get a little older, you'll you'll look back and you'll want to smack yourself in the face about all the things that you left let happen to you that you wish didn't all because you didn't trust your own intuition and just went along with it. You know, have the ability to say no, have the ability to stand up, for yourself, it can be tough at first, but like I've said in other videos, when the narcissist is confronted with their wrongdoings, especially in detail, they will crumble and, you know, their narcissistic rage will, will come out and they'll usually make a fool out of themselves when they do that. So 
all in all, your intuition is there to protect you. It's there to guide you. It's your most powerful guiding tool. The narcissist fears that because they know deep down we're right. Like they know deep down, even though maybe even on a subconscious level, because they don't want to face it. They know what they really are and they know we see through them and that terrifies them. That absolutely terrifies them. That's why they are so obsessed with keeping people like us, INFJs and ENFJs down and invalidating our thoughts and invalidating our intuitions so that everybody around, you know, in the narcissist circle thinks that we don't know anything what we're talking about, that we're never right because they don't want us to rip that mask off. They don't want other people to listen to our intuition and be like, well, that makes perfect sense. Like, and then start to question the narcissist, especially, you know, if that narcissist has a large circle of flying monkeys and has a large scale of influence over people. So they're keeping you down. They're invalidating your intuitive thoughts because they don't want the truth to come out. They don't want people to see them for what they really are. They want to keep the con going as long as, as possible. As Ollie Matthews states in some of his videos, you know, the most angered you'll see a narcissist is when they realize the jig is up. So always trust your intuition. Understand that the narcissist is going to do whatever they can to invalidate your intuition, not just to others, but mainly to yourself so that you don't trust yourself. And that'll make you more subservient and more, you know, inclined to just be beaten down and broken and to fall in line with whatever, you know, nefarious machination they want you to be a pawn in. Trust yourself. Learn not to do that. Always trust your in intuition. It's your ally. Don't take my word for it. Take Carl Jung's for it. Thanks for tuning in, and hopefully the audio is now fixed. And please leave your comments below. Like and subscribe and help the channel grow. It's a fledgling channel, so it needs your support. And thanks for tuning in.